Happy Thursday, everyone. All right, I'm here and my house is still in chaos. So I have just come back from Willow Bend to train from training. And I went to my favorite place, Nectar. So I had this beautiful bowl and I was gonna show it to everybody. And then I was like, I ate it on the way home. So, but I wanted to talk about how I was doing so far. Um, if those of you who've been following me, I've been doing a whole series on how I'm healing my SIBO. And I'm using Dr. Pampa's protocol. So if you don't follow him, you need to follow him because he's an autoimmune expert. He's awesome. So I am feeling fabulous still. I mean, it is, <clears throat> let's see, one, two, three, four, week, four weeks. So I did the carnivore diet for two weeks. I did a water fast. And now I've been doing greens and protein. So this is week four. And so what does that look like? I've been doing a lot of things like um, kale salads. I've been doing things like spinach, you know, salads with spinach and things like that. And then um, in the morning, I typically will do some eggs. Uh, that's just a quick, easy thing. I, I used to do smoothies a lot and I'm hoping to get back to those, but a lot of those are a little tricky because they have um, some of the high FODMAPs in them. So berries are okay, um, avocados are not okay, bananas have a lot of sugar, and I'm, I'm just really playing it safe right now and testing out if just some, just higher levels of sugar for me, I don't seem to tolerate. And I love, I love bananas, I love sweet potatoes, all that stuff, but I'm adding things back really, really slowly on purpose and being very intentional about how I'm adding food back into my diet. So um, this morning I got my nectar um, bowl. I've been just getting the juices. They have something called um, a toxic flush. I know it sounds really gross. But it's actually really delicious. It has like four ingredients in it. It's like parsley, spinach, lemon, and ginger. So there's a bite to it, but it is really, really good. Um, I love that one. And then the greeny, that's another one that has all kinds of stuff. I think there's green apple in it too. So it was interesting because apples are high FODMAP foods. So those of you who have SIBO know what I'm talking about. Um, there's low FODMAP and high FODMAP. Basically what that means um, is that some foods, when it's broken down in your body, they ferment. So like most of us, right, know the, you know, beans, beans, the magical fruit, the more you eat, the more you do, the more you do, the, the better you feel. So eat your beans at every meal, right? We all know that little song. And um, it's because they have oligosaccharides in them and that creates gas. It ferments in our body. So most people have gas when they eat beans. But when you have SIBO, then all kinds of different foods can ferment in the gut because the SIBO, um, the bacteria that's in there is like feasting like it's a fast food party whenever you eat things that have a lot of fiber and sugar. So, um, you know, when you're whole food plant-based or you eat a lot of whole foods like I, you know, I do, then you end up having, um, sorry, I had to move that. You end up having a lot of um, fiber in your diet, a lot of sugar, which gut health wise is awesome, but not so awesome when you are not healed from SIBO. So um, that's my journey is trying to heal this beast of, <laughs> of a thing. So anyway, um, I know most of us have probably, well, if you're over at least like 35, I would hope, have seen the movie When Harry Met Sally. Now I tell my nutrition clients this. I'm like, go be a Sally. Order like a Sally. Don't be ashamed of being a Sally. So if you've seen the movie reference, you know what I'm talking about, right? Sally orders her food. Everything is on the side. Everything is a particular way, right? We see that throughout the movie every time she orders. Um, those of you who have never seen the movie, first of all, go watch it because it is awesome and it's funny and it really brings up the conversation can men and women be friends and um or does it always lead to sex so it's a super funny movie uh meg ryan is adorable in it and billy crystal super funny 
Um, but if you haven't seen the movie, basically she goes to the restaurants and she's just ordering everything um, specifically. How she wants it, how she wants it cooked, how she doesn't want the dressing or she doesn't want the ice cream on the pie unless they can warm up the pie, otherwise put it on the side. So it's just like all these rules she's got when it comes to food. That's how I feel, okay? Those of us who have gut issues, number one, and those of us who are trying to clean up their diet, number two, all right? So those types of groups of people, that's who I'm talking to. When you are looking to change your health story and you are looking to improve your gut health, you must be a Sally when you go out to eat. So my house is in chaos right now. We are um, having the floors done and I'm painting and everything. So. My brain feels a little chaotic because I don't have everything organized and I'm just really organized anyway. And I've lived in chaos the last like, I don't know, a couple of years. I had cancer, my husband was sick, so I got a little bit better. I tolerated chaos better. I would say normally I like things to run a certain way and I, you know, run smoothly. And I can be a flexible person, but I like things a certain way and, um, I was the person prior to cancer. I never missed a workout, um, any of that kind of stuff. So, yeah, it's 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 been a little crazy here. And so because of that, we have not had, I have not gone to the grocery store because the guys are coming to pull up the floor. So I didn't want to have all this extra stuff in the, in the, in the, um, in the refrigerator and then I was going to have to move it. So I was like, all right, we'll just go out to eat and whatever. Well, I'm trying to do greens and proteins, right? Doesn't seem too hard, but there's still things I have to think about. And especially for breakfast, I think that can be challenging. When you look at most smoothie bar places, a lot of those have extra sugars in them. So just know that. I know that some of you are trading maybe fast food water burger for a smoothie king or something. Now that's definitely a better transition, but just know that a lot of those, they will put like extra honeys in there or extra sugar, um, or they'll have pre-made mixes. So just know that when you're going there that you may still be getting higher levels of sugar. Places like Nectar or Juice Bar, you know, think places like that, um, a little bit better, especially nectar. Everything is fresh and they are preparing it right in front of you. So you can see it's all fresh. Um, but they have certain drinks or certain bowls that if you're going to order those, then they're going to have what it contains. So you can go through and you can say, okay, I don't want this, don't want that. So that's what I do. Um, there's an app for nectar, which is great because, you know, you don't have to feel embarrassed by telling the person like, don't do this, add this, can't have that, sub this. So that's just what I do. I can do berries right now. Those are on the low FODMAPs. Um, so greens and proteins, and then I can do some low FODMAP foods. So I'm really, really sticking to greens and proteins as much as I can though. So, um, yeah, so just be looking at the menu. I always encourage people, look at the menu before you're gonna go to a restaurant. Like, take a look at it. I already have two or three things in mind that you're gonna order. Have them remove the bread or the chips if you're trying to get healthy off the table, um, especially if you have no impulse control, you haven't developed that yet. And um, just be really clear about what you want going into the restaurant and order water right? Because then you don't need extra calories from drinks. So if you go in like that, so somebody who has SIBO like me, I have to tell them certain things. I can't have certain things right now, especially right now. And I'm feeling so good. I don't even want to risk it. Like I don't even want to take the chance to be like, Oh, I'll just have a couple chips or oh, I'll just have some bread or whatever. Like not even sometimes for me right now, I'm really trying to stick to a protocol. But if you're trying to get healthy, take a look at the menu before you go pick two or three items that you think you want and figure out ways that you can make it healthier. Like how can I add more, um, you know, maybe greens to this or how can I do something that's going to uh, maybe put the dressing on the side. I think we've all heard about that, you know, to do that or, you know, bring your own dressing. I mean, I've had friends who have things like celiac and stuff. They bring their own dressing there because they can't tolerate the one that they have. So you just, you know, when you, when you go out to eat or you're in a situation like me where life is kind of chaotic and you have to go out to eat, 
for a little bit. There are places that you can go. Um, you know, even something like last night, I just, I did not know what to eat. I was like, I don't feel like driving far. I don't know where to go. And I literally just, I just went to Kroger and I just ate off the salad bar, which I don't do a lot of, but it's sometimes it's a better alternative. So people can think, oh my God, salad bars are so terrible. Don't do those. But here's the thing. If you're going to choose something unhealthy, all right, like fast food, it's just as toxic. It can be toxic for your health. So, and there can be stuff in all of our food. It doesn't matter if it's off of a salad bar or if it's from Wendy's or whatever. We can still, there's going to be parasites. There's going to be things on our food. I mean, there's stuff in our food. This is the reason why people have gut issues. This is the reason why people have things like SIBO. A lot of times we get them from getting food poisoning and it could be from a nice restaurant we know that it could be a nice restaurant crappy restaurant salad bar whatever go to Mexico I mean there's all these different ways so anyway I just wanted to share that with you guys I feel really good um, be a Sally find a way to um, be healthy when you go out to eat it is totally possible I always tell my clients there is usually just like a couple places that I usually will not go to because I cannot find anything healthy there. One is barbecue, and I know people love barbecue. I don't even like the smell of barbecue, so it doesn't really bother me not to go. But it's really hard to find healthy. It, it's comfort food, so there's there's really nothing there that um, I could ever find that was um, really healthy. So um, that's definitely one one place um was there another one maybe there wasn't another one i don't know sometimes fa i mean fast food places are starting to get a little bit better so if you have to you know run into a fast food place because there's nothing you're on a road trip or something like that there's usually salads they're just not really yummy i just don't ever really like them but um barbecue places are tough so just know that that is is a tougher one and so if you're trying to clean up your diet you know just find a different alternative until you can have some more impulse control or you do that sometimes treat and go to a barbecue place. There's so many options um, where most of us live. So, all right, that's it. That's all I have. I'm doing great. I'm feeling good. I've changed my supplements and um, next week I'm going to add some root vegetables. So, all right, have a good day.